Şimdi sıra Hacı Bektaş ve Bektaşilik ile ilgili bilgileri sunacak Sayın Profesör Doktor Nurus Sultan Noyal Bey'de. Buyurun. 15 dakika süremiz var. Unutmaya alın. İngilizce konuşacaksınız. Sevgilicimiz İngilizce konuşacak. Ee, Türkçe dinlemek isteyenler her anda şey almaları gerekiyor. Kulaklık. I apologize that I will speak in English, but the subject is very important and complex, and I don't want to make mistakes when I'm speaking on such complicated matters as Bektashism and Haji Bektashvili. I would like first to thank the organizers for inviting me to contribute to this important uh, Congress, and also approving of my topic uh, in its uh, summary. As I have tried to show in my summary, the presence and impact of Haji Bektashvili in particular, and Bektashism in general, is important not only for Turkic-speaking societies and cultures, that includes traditional indigenous societies and diaspora Turkish societies, but also it is significant of this in the sphere of religious and humanist thought and ideas, spirituality and ethics beyond the Turkic world, in areas where the Turkic world has met and interacted with other Islamic and non-Islamic cultures. We have, of course, some of these traditional interfaces, areas of contact between the Turkic Islamic cultures and the Arab Islamic, Iranian Islamic and Kurdish Islamic cultures. This has attracted the attention of scholars, politicians, religious networks, and activists. Less known for audiences in Turkey and also audiences in the Turkish na Turkic nations are the interfaces of uh, Bektashism with uh, Albanian and Slavonic Muslim cultures in the Balkans, as well as Eastern Orthodox cultures in Anatolia and the Balkans during the Seljuk and the Ottoman period. For the short period of my paper, I will just sketch and summarize some of the main historical and religious problems and avenues for future research in the field of the, of the study of the role of Haji Bektash Veli and Bektashism in the Turkic speaking world and beyond. Due to the increasing amount of primary evidence publications of written sources, study of the cult architecture of Bektashism, and the advance of the study of the oral history and traditions of communities related to the Bektashi Tarikat, we now are aware that this is indeed a rich and complex subject, which is related to some of the greater areas of study of the Turkic Islamic cultures from Central Asia to the Balkans, and also Ottoman religious and social history. Early research on Haji Bektashvili and Bektashism have highlighted several important spheres which have been explored in the last century and much new material and ideas have been added in these spheres in the last few decades. These areas to summarize are the following. The role of Haji Bektashvili and Bektashism in the transition of Turkic nomadic and settled groups and societies from pre-Islamic Turkic religious traditions to Islam. The provision of social and emotional support for new converts to Islam in Anatolia and the Balkans. Interaction with popular piety and observances in Anatolia and the Balkans. Institution of holy sites sacralization of landscapes, which, among other things, secured transconfessional periodic channels of communication between the Muslim and the Christian communities in the Ottoman Empire. Although on an interesting subject, the socio-political role of Bektashism in the late Ottoman period in Turkic, Slavonic and Albanian-speaking cultures remains outside the scope of my paper. In recent decades, other areas 
of research have also become prominent. Some of them of great significance to the study of the early socio-political and religious history of the Ottoman Empire. As, and also to the migrations and resettlement of Turkic tribal groups in Western Iran, Azerbaijan, Anatolia, and the Balkans. The most important of these spheres is the role of Bektashism in providing an acceptable Tarikat umbrella network for the various non-conformist tribal Turkey groups in these areas, and their acculturation and reintegration into Ottoman polity. This, of course, was a crucial phase in the history of the Ottoman Empire before, during, and, the, and in the aftermath of the Ottoman, Ottoman Safavid Wars in the early 16th century. Also related to the religious and political agitation and turmoil which arose from the participation and the loyalty of the Kazilbash groups in these conflicts. Hence, the important role of Bektashism, of the Bektashi Tarikat, in the new policies and strategies of compromise uh, pursued generally by the Ottoman authorities in the 17th and 18th centuries towards the Kazilbash groups. Some scholars have described these new policies as leniency and de facto toleration of the Kazilbash and the role of the Bektashi order is now being explored in depth. Another important area uh, is the role of the Bektashi organizational structure as Tarikat in the various local social developments in central and western Anatolia, particularly in the towns, from the late 16th century onwards. These were related in particular to the expansion of the structures of the guilds, the so-called Ahi, as well as the culture of the spiritual and ethic chivalry known in the Islamic world as Futuwa in Arabic discourse and Javan Mardi in Persian. The role of the Bektashi Tarikat in these local social developments, which some historians have described as local Anatolian forms of early civil society, is very considerable and again needs to be explored. What about the sphere of spirituality, religious philosophy, and interreligious interaction? For those interested in the history of religious philosophy and Islamic esoteric spirituality in the Ottoman period, this is, of course, the most interesting area in the study of Haji Bektashvili and Bektashism. We still are looking for the manner in which notions and ideas deriving from the high Islamic Neoplatonism of the 10th century and perhaps Ismailism eventually entered Bektashi concepts, imagery, and iconography. We know slightly more about the main carriers of the cosmological and esoteric system of Hurufism into Bektashism, which eventually became influential in Bektashi notions, imagery, and calligraphy. Such channels included, of course, the poetry, the masterpieces of Nezimi, which also highlights the intimate links between the Turkic mystical and poetic traditions in Western Iran, Azerbaijan, and Anatolia. Hurufism, of course, was centered on the mysteries and symbolism of the letters of the Arabic and Persian alphabets as a manifestation of the divine essence, which led to complex cosmology and sacred history narratives, as well as, of course, the focus on man as a microcosm. But we should also comment that even before the entry of Hurufi ideas into Bektashism, we find a strong focus on man as microcosm in the Makalat, the Kuchuk Vilayat Name of Haji Bektashvili, where we encounter a detailed description of quadripartite patterns in analyzing man as a microcosm. We also encounter in the Makalat uh, the analogies of this system in the universe. Haji Bektashvili also speaks about the creation of man, of man through the letters forming the name 
Muhammad. Hence, we have here the affirmation of the Arabic letters with the human form, a later central tenet of Hurufism. Therefore, in Bektashism, we encounter the confluence of esoteric traditions regarding symbolic and mystical significance uh, of the letters of the Arabic and Persian alphabets, some of which can be traced to Haji Bektash Veli himself. But we now suspect that there are other esoteric subcurrents in Bektashism which reflect the spirit of the age. Haji Bektashvili was, of course, a contemporary of one, if not the most prominent exponent of Islamic esoteric mathematics, Al-Buni of Egypt. While the reorganization of the Bektashi order under Balum Sultan coincides, of course, with the pronounced intensification of spiritualist and esoteric currents in Islamic cultures, especially in the Iranian world in the early, from the early 16th century onwards. Due to the dissolution of Bektashi libraries in the 19th century, we still cannot reconstruct the, completely the world of a, cosmo, of a cosmopolitan Bektashi intellectual figure in the 18th century, let's say, who moved freely, geographically and intellectually along the extensive Bektashi networks in Istanbul, Anatolia, the Balkans, the Near East, Iraq, Egypt, especially Cairo. Probably we need to reconstruct one of, the, one of these Bektashi libraries now dispersed in the libraries of Istanbul, Albania, Cairo, and the European capitals. And this task, the reconstruction of the cosmopolitan and complex worldview of a Bektashi intellectual of the late 18th century is becoming increasingly important as some very influential trend in contemporary Bektashism in Albania, for example, are leaning towards mystical Shiism of contemporary Iranian extraction. Can this be reconciled with the original religious and ethical mes message of Haji Bektashvili and Bektashism in the Turkic world and beyond? This is one of the great questions that will present itself to us in the next decades of Bektashi revival, especially in the Balkans. Çok teşekkür ederim. Thank you very much.